Hi guys and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm part of the PDI Technical Advisors in Cisco and today I'm going to show you how to use Prime Collaboration Deployment to migrate a CUCM and a present server which are on version 8.6 to an 11.x release. I hope this is useful for you. The first thing that we need to do is to discover our cluster. As you can see on the left side of the screen, I have my two virtual machines, the consoles to them. I have CUCM on top and I have IAM on presence on the bottom. As you can see, I did a show version active and you will notice that there are no cop files or any other installation done on those virtual machines. What we need to do is to go to PCD, we go to inventory, clusters, and we're going to click on discover cluster. Once you have the right information on this screen, you're going to click on Next. As you can see, we successfully discovered our two servers. If we do a show version active, we should see another file this time. PCD installed the Cisco CM using map underscore platform config.cop file. It was also installed on our IAM present server. We are going to click on Next. This was all the information that we required for our server discovery. If you're going to go ahead and change some of the settings, you just need to choose it. Right now, uh, the servers do not have anything running on them. I do not even have a phone configured. But you can choose to set the music on hold and you should if you do have this configured. The primary call processing, the primary TFTP. Once you're done with CSEM, you click Next Note, you're going to get the IAM on present server, and you also need to choose the right settings. In this case, this is going to be my primary presence, and you click OK. Once you see the right functions listed in here, you're going to click on Finish. After you have discovered the cluster that you are going to migrate, there are a couple of things that you need to do. In first place, you need to upload the images that you are going to use for the migration. They need to be bootable images for a migration. I usually use Falsilla for this purpose, and I'm going to show you how it looks. I already have it configured in my site manager. You just need to type in the IP address or the hostname. You're going to use the user admin SFTP and the same password that you use to log in into PCD. Let's connect right now. Once you have successfully connected via SFTP to your server, you will see several folders. The one that says Upgrade is where you need to push the images if you're going to be doing an upgrade. If you're going to be doing a fresh install or a migration, you need to put the images under the fresh install folder. As you can see, I already have a few images in here. Since they are real big, I have already uploaded them. In case that you want to upload the images, you just need to pick one of the files from the left side of the screen. You need to just drag and drop, and that is going to upload the image to your PCD server. Once you have uploaded the images, you will be able to see them in the PCD administration page. If you go to Inventory, SFTP Servers and Data Store, you should see the information. As you can see, I already have several images. I have images in the fresh install folder and also in the upgrade folder. Once you have those, the other thing that you need to do is to deploy blank OVAs for the machines that you want to install. If you remember, we're going to be doing a CUCM and present server migration, and I'm going to show you what I have in my vCenter. As you can see, this is a CUCM IAM presence 11.0 virtual machine template, and if you notice, the, the storage that I have used are only 9 megabytes. That means that this is a blank virtual machine. If we look at the CUCM virtual machine, you will see that it's exactly the same. The application version is 11.0 and the VM version is 8. The storage that I'm using right now are only 8 megabytes. Once you have deployed the blank OBAs, we need to go to Inventory, Clusters, and if you recall, the UC86 PCD is the cluster that we are going to be migrating. We need to click on Define Migration Destination Cluster. We are going to choose that cluster, and we need a nickname. 
Now you have two options. One of the options is to use the same network information for the destination nodes. The other option is to type in new network settings. I'm going to show you how it looks. If you choose this one, you can actually leave the same information. We're going to use that one and I'm going to show you the difference. We're going to click on next. Right now, as you can see, we have the source and we have the destination. What we need to use right now is to click on Assign Destination Cluster Nodes. Right now, we're going to work on the CUCM86 PCD virtual machine. And we need to find the blank OBA that we're going to be using. In this case, it's going to be CUCM11 PCD. If you want to leave the settings for your virtual machine in regards to the IP address, subnet mask and gateway, you just need to use this option, use source node network settings. In case that you want to change them, you choose the option enter new network settings. In this case, I'm going to change them. The only difference if in the previous page you choose the option to not use new network settings is that this part of the screen would not show up. That would be the only difference. Once you have changed the network settings, you just need to click on Next Node. And as you can see, right now we're going to work with the IAM on present server. We need to do the same. We need to choose the blank OBA that we deployed. In this case, it's going to be IMP11 PCD. And I'm also going to change the IP address. Once you have done that, you click on Done. And you're going to get the summary of the source hostname, the destination virtual machine name, and the destination hostname. If you wanted to change this as well, you can do it. If those settings are correct, we need to click on Next. This is information that is gathered from the CUCM and IAM present servers that I have already installed. If you do not want to change or add any new NTP or SMTP servers, you just need to click on Next. It's going to be the same if you do not want to change the DNS. You just leave it like that. In case that you want to change the DNS, you just need to choose this option and then use Assign DNS Settings. In this case, the DNS settings for my domain are OK and I do not need to change them. And I'm going to click Finish. Once we have finished creating the cluster, the next task is going to create the migration task. In PCD, we go to Task, Migrate, and we're going to click on Add Migration Task. We're going to choose the source UC cluster, which is going to be only one choice, and the same for the destination cluster. We're going to get the information, the source hostname, the product, the destination virtual machine name, the hostname, and the IP address. If all this information is OK, you need to click on Next. Now we need to choose the files that we are going to use. If you can see, there is a message that says the ISO images must have been uploaded to the fresh install directory. And that is where we uploaded the files when I showed you with FileZilla. Now we need to choose one of those. I have 10.5.2 and I have 11. And this scenario we're going to migrate to 11.01. We need to do the same for IAM and Presence. And we click Next. You can schedule a specific time for this to happen. You can start this manually or you can start it after you finish the wizard. In this case, I'm going to start it manually. I'm going to click on Next. And here you're going to see a summary of the steps that are going to be taken for the migration. The first step is going to be to export the configuration from the CUCM and IAM on Presence on 8.6. Then it's going to install the destination CUCM then the IAM and presence and it's going to pause. You can do one of the things at this point in time. You can either let it pause and then restart the task and once you restart this task it's going to shut down the original CUCM and the original IAM and presence. On this case it really doesn't matter because I'm going to be using different IPs. You can scroll down and you can see some of the information for each one of the tasks. Once all this information is OK, you just need to click on Next. And it's going to give us a summary of what is going to happen. As you can see, the source cluster is UC86 PCD. The destination cluster is UC11 migration. 
these are going to be the files that we are going to use and this is the cluster nodes on the left side and on the right side the destination nodes on this scenario they are the same because i'm not changing the house name if all this information is correct you just need to click on finish and you will see that it has been added to the list you can click on validate task to make sure that everything is okay we get a message that all the validation tests passed the next step is going to be to start the migration task before we start the migration task i want to show you that i also changed the fqdn for the destination cluster it's going to be the same name as the virtual machines you can see the new names and i'm going to monitoring and i'm going to start the migration task on the left side of the screen you can see COCM on top and the present server below. I just want you to see exactly what is going to happen if you are logged in and the cop file that is going to be installed. Once step 1 is done, I'm going to switch those for the 11.x version machines that we are going to be migrating to. The migration has just finished. As you can see, on the left side we have CUCM 11 PCD and we have IMM Presence 11 PCD. Both of the virtual machines have been successfully installed and they have the information that was on the 8.6 version virtual machines. At this point in time we have two options. Uh, we can cancel the migration task and that way we will only have these virtual machines or we can resume the migration task and that will also shut down the publisher for COCM and IMM presence that I have on 8.6. I'm going to switch the screens for the 8.6 virtual machines and I'm going to resume the task. As you can see on the left side, right now I have the 8.6 virtual machines, COCM on top and presence on the bottom and I'm going to resume the migration task so that we can shut down both virtual machines via PCD. PCD has successfully finished the migration task. I'm going to start the 8.6 virtual machines so I can show you what was installed on them and then we're going to finish with this video. Right now I'm logged into my CUCM 11 PCD which is the virtual machine that I migrated. If we go to system, server, we should find our IMM presence server in here. 
as you can see we have both servers listed one thing that i want to show you is what files were installed in the virtual machines for the 8.6 version as you can see the files that were installed by PCD were ciscocm.ucmap underscore platformconfig.cop and also ciscocm.migrate-export-b1.15.cop The other files that you see there are firmware files that I installed on the server to test if PCD could migrate them and it did all the files that I installed in the TFTP were migrated. I also installed a few images for background for some phones and they were migrated as well. Now I'm going to show you what files were installed in the IMM present server. On the IMM present server, the two files that were installed were the cisco.ucmap-platformconfig.cop and ciscocm.cop.migrate-export-b1.6.cop in both cases, I want you to notice one thing. I never installed the version 3 RSA keys and I never installed any files for a refresh upgrade. That is something that I have seen very commonly and that people tell you that you need to install those files to migrate. That is not true. You do not need those files unless you are upgrading and with PCD a migration and an upgrade are very different procedures. If you're going to migrate and someone tells you that you need those two files, they are wrong. You do not need those. We have reached the end of this procedure. I have shown you all the steps that you need to do in PCD and in your CUCM and present servers in order to perform a migration and I have also told you what files you actually need to do this. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.